from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Welcome to this week's show. We're in Southwest Texas near Brackettville. It's early December and the rut is on. We're in the field with Yamaha's Steve Nessel. He's hunting from a stand overlooking a part of the ranch known as the Honey Hole. We had to first sit in the morning um, at the Honey Hole was, was like a muggy, foggy, warmer day. So that morning, being as warm as it was, we actually didn't see as much as you normally would in a honey hole sit. Um, there were still deer everywhere, mind you, but a lot of young two and a half year old eight points and things like that. We got out after you know being in there for several hours. Uh, when, when the time was right, when we were going to spook game, we got out of there and we started making a plan for when we we're going to get back. Well, we had an interesting sit this morning. Real warm out, got foggy. Seemed like it took a long time to get light, and uh, unfortunately heard heard a huge fight out in front of us right uh, right before it was light, and uh, didn't get to see get a chance to see the box, but we did have some activity, some animals coming through, um, but no shooters. So time to make a plan for the afternoon. And that afternoon, we headed back out with Steve to a different part of the ranch they call the Killing Tree. The Killing Tree is. One of my favorite places to hunt in the world, um, but probably my second favorite place to hunt on this piece of property. Um, you, can, you can hunt from a bow in the killing tree, you can hunt with a rifle at the killing tree. Um, they're all over the place. Uh, does, bucks, everything comes through. There's raccoons, there's rabbits, there's everything out of the killing tree. We saw a lot of deer, a ton of deer, but just nothing that we wanted to shoot that night. We had a good sit tonight. We saw a lot of deer, had does in front of us pretty much right away. Um, it was hot. The weather's gonna change drastically overnight. We've got front coming in. We're looking at 20, 30 degree swings. Um, we're hoping it gets the deer moving. We did have some bucks behind us, only one of which came in, but there looked like there might have been a shooter. Um, he just never showed up into our area. So it was hard to, to check him out without spooking all the does in front of us. So. With the weather changing, we're thinking the same, go back to the same spot in the morning, go back to the killing tree, and hope if he's not around, we got another big one in there, and, uh, and try and get it done. There's a lot of deer back there. Uh, we know there's mature bucks around, so fingers crossed for the morning. Coming up, we'll rejoin Steve Nessel in the field, but first we'll head to California with Wade Middleton for some turkey hunting. Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter, and your source for everything you'll need for a successful hunting season. Like the Nikon Action Extreme 16 by 50 binoculars. You can find them online at cabelas.com. We'll be right back with more from Americana Outdoors. <laughs> 